to the Hanukkah Christmas performance, the Voices of Alta. The, you have the copy of the programs. If you need any, I have a few extras. If anyone needs a program, um, I have a, a few copies. The first part of our program is about Hanukkah. Hanukkah, which is a Hebrew meaning dedication is a festival of lights. It commemorates the victory of the Maccabees over the Syrian Greek army in Jerusalem and restoring its menorah or lamp. The miracle of Hanukkah is that only one vial of oil was found with just enough oil to illuminate the temple lamp for one day. Yet it lasted for eight Four days. Hanukkah is celebrated by lighting the menorah each night, one candle uh, from the feeder candle, the shamash, and it, each night one candle is added until all eight candles have been lit for the eight nights of Hanukkah. The first group of songs are the songs in celebration of Hanukkah, which begins tomorrow evening at sundown. The children play with a toy called a drail, which is a clay spinning top. They spin it, and then when it falls over, it has uh, on it directions of things that the children must do. Uh, they either have to stand up and hop, or they put coins in a, in a basket, or, or whatever. So the first song is about the dreidel that the children play with during the time of Hanukkah. Thank you. 
The next section of songs is about Advent, which is the first season of Christmas. Advent is marked by a spirit of expectation, of anticipation, of preparation, of longing. There is a yearning for deliverance from the evils of the world. First expressed by Israelite slaves in Egypt as they cried out from their bitter oppression. It is the cry of those who have experienced the tyranny of injustice in the world under the curse of sin. And yet, who have hope of deliverance by a God who has heard the cries of oppressed slaves and brought deliverance. It is that hope, however faint at times, and that God, however distant he sometimes seems, which brings to the world the anticipation of a king who will rule with truth and justice and righteousness over his people in, and in his creation. It is that hope that once anticipated and now anticipates anew the reign of an anointed one, a Messiah, who will bring peace and justice and righteousness to the world. Our next group of songs will be about the, uh, the Advent season. Thank you. 
the second season of Christmas is Christmas Tide. Christmas Tide is the 12 days of Christmas, from the birth of Christmas to January 6th. Also known as Christmas Tide or 12 Tide, represents the 12 days of Christmas from December 25 to January 6th. During this time, the word was spreading throughout the area about the birth of Jesus Christ, and the three kings, also known as the wise men, began their journey following the star to find the baby Jesus.
the third part of Christmas is that of Epiphany. Epiphany is on January 6th. That's when the three wise men have arrived to, um, to see the baby Jesus. Epiphany is a feast day that celebrates the revelation of God incarnate as Jesus Christ. It is known as Three Kings Day after the wise men of Magi brought the infant gifts and proclaimed him the Son of God. The traditional date for Epiphany is January 6th. Now, this next group, um, when we sing, the last two songs that we sing, O Holy Night and Silent Night, if you turn your programs over, you will have the words to the chorus only of O Holy Night. I would like you as audience to join the choir in singing the chorus every time the choir gets to the chorus of O Holy Night. Then you may join in with the choir as when they sing that. And then when the choir sings Silent Night, I would like all of you to join the choir to sing Silent Night as well. There's audience participation on those two songs. Thank you. 
Oh! <laughs>
This brings us to the end of our program. I would like to thank these beautiful yes. ladies and gentlemen, making up the choir, the voices of Alton. And I would like to thank you for coming out to, to cheer us on, to encourage us, and to keep us going. Uh, we have a light repast, and I would like to ask the, uh, those that have walkers and those that are in scooters and wheelchairs to be served first and helping us to make this a success. And we thank you and we appreciate you and we want you to accept this in the spirit in which it is given. In case you don't know, in sign language, this means I love you. And when you pass it around, it means that I love you to everybody. Thank you, thank you.